Aloha mai kako. Welcome to Halau na Pua Hala Kuno Ikekai. My name is Kumu Kanoi. We are coming to you from rainy, sunny, still beautiful Nu'uanu Valley, uh, right here on the island of Oahu. So glad to have so many of you joining us for our last live session of March. Don't worry, just for March. We'll be back. We'll be back. Uh, we have been celebrating Prince. Jonah Kuhio Kalaniana Ole for the entire month of March. If you were here on Saturday, we wrapped up a mele for his home with Princess Kahanu found at Waikiki, and that was called Waikiki Hula. And today we are going to be doing Kevalo Uka, a new composition by a dear friend of ours, Kumu Kahanuola Solatorio, who was with us last week for a live interview, our first one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. So that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, today is going to be uh, just slightly different than the other Tuesdays so far this month. Uh, every week in, in March, we did one verse of Kevaloka. Today, we're going to do the whole song all in one day. So we'll do a little bit of reteaching, um, but it will go quite fast. So. Hang on to your uh, hats, your papale, and I think it's time. Welcome back. So every Tuesday in the month of March, we have been celebrating this Mele Kevalouka. Today, we have a few friends that are joining us brand new. So I wanted to make sure to say aloha to those of you who are joining us. I'm just going to grab my computer, my handy dandy computer, not sponsored yet. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, aloha to Fern joining us all the way from Texas. Thank you for always being here. I hope you're doing well. Uncle Frank joining us from California. Aloha to Uncle Frank and Auntie Mary and all of our family, our ohana there in California. Barbara is joining us from Kona. So nice to see you, Barbara. And Wendy right here on the island of Oahu, St. Louis Heights, checking in. Aloha, Auntie Wendy. Wendy, um, Joanna and I were just talking about our trip to China. Can you believe that was 2005? Long time ago. Anyways, um, let's see who else is here. Linda. Linda is joining us from Pennsylvania. Thanks for staying up an extra hour late with us. Good to see you. And Julie joining from Hong Kong. Can you believe it? We're international gang. Be sure that you, um, you know, if, if you haven't already shared us with all your international friends, we just want to take over the world with hula. That's all we're trying to do here. Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, but it's really good to be together. Um, you know, we got lots to do, so I think I'm going to stop stalling. <laughs> and we're going to dive right in. So Kevalo Uka, of course, has the word Kevalo in it. For those of you who might be more fam familiar with the ocean side part of Kevalo, also known as Kewalos. It's a great little surf spot. Um, when I used to work at Town & Country Surf at Ward Warehouse, people would always go surfing at Kewalos, which I didn't really surf. I don't know what I was doing, but it's fine. Um, but down there at the ocean side is Kevalo um, Basin. And actually today, on my way home, I took a walk from where I work in Manoa, and I walked through Makiki, and I walked up a street called Kevalo Street. So if you go from Kevalo Basin up Kevalo Street, right up past Roosevelt High School on the, the slopes of, um, of the, the mountain there, um, then you will find Kevalo Uka. And Uka means upland. So let's dive into verse number one of Kevalo Uka. Here are the words for you. Yes. So Kevalo Uka Pauku e Kahi is, um, Pauku e Kahi means verse number one. And I wanted to bring this picture up first because we want to attribute this mele to who wrote it which is kumu jonah 
Kahanuola Solatorio, who was with us just last week. And he shared with us some insights about this mele that I just want to touch on really quickly. This verse talks about the fragrance of the peacock. And I think we have a picture of a peacock that I can share with you here. Oh, it's still on this side. So the peacock is not the one. Um, actually, this picture features all of the flowers of this mele. It has the kukui, which is closest to me the plumeria or the puamelia in the middle. And then on the far side, you see that's the pikake jasmine flower, right? Also known as molihua. Um, so the jasmine is the very first one. And the very interesting thing that Kumu Kahanuola shared with us is pikake is not famous all over the area of Kevalauka. He was writing this mele and he wanted to dedicate it to his mom, student cousin Kapi. Um, Kapi Solatorio is his mother, and we have a picture of us um, with Kumu Kahanu and his mom right here. This was just taken this past weekend. We got together with them to celebrate Prince Drona Kuhio. And this first verse is actually dedicated to his mom because they had a pikake bush tree plant in their front yard. And it's not like it was all over the place in Kevalauka, but just in this one special place that he called home. At Kevalauka. So keep that in mind as we review and learn first verse of Kevalauka. All right. So for Kevalo, we're going to make that basin, just like where I said my friends used to go surf. You're going to circle your hands around just like that. So dip the pinky side of your hands. Yep. Join in. Kui Luna stands on up. We're dancing now. Okay. Here we go. Kevalo. Then we're going to go up that Kevalo Street, right up past Roosevelt to Uka kevalo uka ika olue in the calm ika olue. So you might not have seen what I did there. I brought the two hands tracking side by side, just to shoulder level, and then you're gonna flip both palms, but you're gonna bring the left hand across to the other 45 degree angle. If you're new to our hula lessons, I'm always mirroring you. So this is your right, this is your left. We're coming down from the left side down to about shoulder level, and then open it out this way. Let's try Kevalauka, just the hands, ready? And here we go to the right. Kevalauka, follow the hands. Ika olue. Now the fragrance of that sweet pikake blossoms, the ones in his very own yard. Your left hand is gonna go over the right as they come in towards your nose. You can almost smell that sweet fragrance. And then now the right hand goes over the top. Left hand is by your mouth. So nose and mouth. Flip the palm. Let's try the ipuia before we go on. Ipuia, left hand is going to go on top. Right hand is going to go on the bottom. Ready, go. Ipuia. Then put both palms down. Use your left hand to tap at the fingertips of the right hand. Then bring that fragrance into your nose and back out to the left corner. And then you're going to use your wrist as a guide. I've worn kukui kupe'e to use as a guide. So you can use your kupe'e as a guide. You're going to flip and pick two-hand pikake. This is not one of those chintzy bushes that only has one flower. We get at least two, hopefully more, so we can make le. Okay. So let's try that whole verse, hands only, going from Kevalo Basin up to the top. Ready? And here we go to the right. Kevalo uka. Slowly down. Ika olue. Left hand on top. Ipuia. Tap. Ke ala pika. Ke pick flower and flower. Okay, so those are our hand motions for the first verse. If it feels like it's going way too fast, don't worry. You can always watch the replay of this video after we're done. Or you can go back to week one from this month and watch an entire hour where we covered just this verse and really dove into the poetry. So let's try one more time. Just the hands. I want to make sure we review it enough times. This time, can you follow your hands with your head or follow your head with your hands? Anyways, move your head. Don't just stare at the computer. Okay? Kevalo, ready? Looking to the right. Kevalo, uka. Tilt those chins. Ika olue. Fragrance, breathe in. 
imbued. Okay, look at your hands. And then your vamp is going to be a diagonal swing vamp. So your left hand is going to cross your body to the 45 degree angle. Push to the opposite side. And then replace the right hand at that angle and push to the 45. Okay. Great job. Let's get rid of these words so that I can stretch out and you can see my feet a little bit. So for Kevalauka, we're going to go ahead and add the feet now. For Kevalauka, we're going to start with a kaholo, uh, of course, a vamp. So the, for the vamp, just like I said, swing vamp from diagonal push to the corner and diagonal push to the corner. So that's going to be a kaholo to the right and kaholo to the left. Let's try that. Ready? And just the vamp. Holo to the right and kaholo to the left. Now, your hand is right in place for kevalauka. So right where you ended right there, your left hand is going to join and you're going to circle around as you kaholo towards your hands. Kevalo, then kaholo up. Uka. Now for the olu or the pleasantness, we're going to bring the hands down slowly on two kao. Remember, the ka'o is just a sway of the hips right and left. In the style of hula that I was taught from my kumu, le momi i maldonado, the feet are very, very flat. If you have learned how to do a ka'o where you lift the hips and lift the heel, that's up to you. Uh, my style that I was taught is mostly flat-footed, so I encourage you to try that too. So hands up here. We're going to come down the slope on two ka'o. Ready, ka'o, right. I ka'olu, then we're going to kaholo to the right. E now that might feel a little strange to you. You're moving to the right while your hand and your head are tracking to the left. So just know that that should feel like an opposition moment. Okay, let's go from kevalauka. That's the easiest place to start. Ready? And here we go to the right. Kevalauka, tilt the chins. Now, you can probably already see my shoulders are turning a little bit to the side because that olue motion, when you touch in your hand and we have the opposition, you're actually going to turn your body all the way towards the left wall, the wall on your left, I should say. When we do the ipuia motion, we're going to do a kaholo ao ao. Now, the kaholo ao ao is going to step away from the audience, away from the camera, and your weight starts on the right foot. Yep, put your weight on your right foot. Good. Your left foot is going to step back, then your right foot pivots, and you're going to come back to the front tap. We have one more angle of camera, uh, a few more angles that might help you. Here's the vavai cam, so you can see my feet here. So turn your body to face towards the wall to your left. Put your weight on the right foot. That's the one closer to the camera here. Okay. Now, remember the foot that's further away from the camera is going to step away. Step away. Pivot the front foot to the front. Bring the back foot together. And then a tap with the right foot. So that's going to be that side kahola. Let's try one more time at this camera angle. Ready, set, stepping back. Left, right, left. And then we're going to get a regular kaholo to the right. Okay, very good. Let's try one more angle. We have an overhead camera. Just want to make sure that you really get this one. For some reason, this side kaholo is the one that's the hardest to teach via Facebook live craziness. So let me know which camera angle you like the best. Is it camera one, straight on, camera two, the vavai, or camera three, the one we're looking at right now, overhead? Let me know, one, two, or three. Okay, so you're going to face to the side. Put your weight on the right foot. Left foot is getting ready to step away. Ready, set, step away. Step left, right, left, tap. Kaholo to the right, tap. Okay, go comment, go comment, go check them, go. Did you like camera number one? Camera number two for the Vava or camera three? Let's know. It will really help me. Then I don't have to do all the cameras if only one of them really works. Okay, let's come back to camera one. So Ipuia, this is going to be your fragrance. Ipu, that's all facing to the side. Not ipu, but ipuia. So face to the side. Left hand is over the right, and we're gonna step away from the camera on the left foot. Ready, set, here we go. Left. Ipuia. That's your straight kaholo. 
Then we're going to kaholo back towards the left as we do the fragrance, 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 and the pick the flower pick. That's how the words go. <laughs> okay, kaholo this way, touch, touch, touch. Ready, and here we go. Fragrance, 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 and now we get hella and hella. The hella step is going to be what we call a foot spread. Heels together to start with. And then the right foot is going to go flat-footed out to the right 45-degree angle. Bring it in. And left foot out to the left 45-degree angle and bring it back in. But it's not going to go that slow. It's going to go this fast. ba -dum, bum 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 Yeah. But your hands don't do that crazy thing. They're just going to pick the flower. Pick. Okay? So hands up. Get ready to pick. Use your wrist as a guide. Your coupe if you have one. We're going to hella set. Here we go. Hella right. Hella left. And then we go right into the vamp. Okay, que valo, uka. let's go. Up to que valo. Que valo, uka. Ka o and sway. I ka o lue. Turn side. I i pu i a. Que ala pi ka ke e hula. Ba di da ba da ba da ba da. One more time. Que valo. Hello right, hello left, and holo to diagonal and swing them. That's it. How was it? Good. Thumbs up, all the hearts, or are you mad because I went too fast? Okay, I'm wondering, did anybody like the Camera three, okay, camera three for the win for Kaholo Ao Ao, good to know. Excellent, thanks for the feedback, that's super duper helpful. Okay, so that was the verse number one. We're gonna try it with the music because you're probably thinking, isn't there a better version of this than her singing? Well, guess what? You're gonna get a version of me singing pre-recorded now. <laughs> for those of you that are new to our Facebook Lives, Facebook is very particular and we can't use canned music, or not canned music, I should say other people's, professionally recorded music because they will shut us down. So every month I record my own versions of the mele so that we have something to practice with, but it should line up exactly tempo-wise with the original version of this, which is by Keao Ho, which features the haku mele, or the composer himself, Jonah Kahanwola Solatorio. So when you perform this out and about, you use that one, Keao Ho. When you do it on Facebook, this is all you get. More of me. All right, here we go. From the intro. Swing, bam, hula. Que valo uka. Que valo uka. Turn side. Maybe they want to see this whole thing in verse of uh, camera three. Let's give it a go. Give a look. Don't forget to smile. Have a little fun. That's it. Give yourself a round of applause. You did verse number one. Check. Okay. We're moving right along to verse number two. So if verse number one was for Kumu Kahanu's mom, we're going to go one generation beyond that. In verse two, he honors his grandfather, father, grandfather, who is shown right here, Gilbert Shea. And um, I just love this photo. I stole this from a video, actually, borrowed. Anyways, uh, this photo <laughs> comes from um, a film that um, Kumu put out, and it shows his grandfather talking to his group, his musician group, and he talks with his hands like this, and he's doing all kinds of, almost looks like hula moves, and you can just see the smile on his face, and that's exactly how Kumu Kahanu described his grandfather, well-loved 
just cherished in the community and kind of Mr. Aloha. Everyone in his community knows him by name and he knows them um, even, even better. So the second verse is written for his, fa uh, his grandfather um, and also honors a lay, as you can see right here on the table here, is a pua melia. It's also featured here on my dress, the plumeria. So the plumeria is a, um, some people call it the graveyard flower because you find it a lot of times in local graveyard um, uh, locations. Um, but it is probably the hula dancer's favorite flower because it's very accessible, easy, approachable, plentiful, and not too expensive. So that's the pua melia um, in verse 2. Uh, did I have another photo? I forget. Oh, yes. Yeah, I had some beautiful Puamelia lei uh, last week that I shared with Kumu, and I got to wear a few of them myself. So I wish I had smell a vision but those of you out there who have smelled Plumeria before, you know <sighs> you can almost smell it, right? Okay, so let's do verse number two. Verse two says, Pulamahia Papakolea. It's talking about a slightly different area instead of Kevalawuka, that homestead land. We're now talking about Papakolea, which is um, Kumu told us that the whole area used to kind of be called Papakolea until they realized that it was actually three distinct sections. There was Kevalawuka, where he lives now. Papakolea, which we're talking about in this verse, and the next verse we'll talk about a third location, another homestead right in this Honolulu area, not far from here. We just drove past it, in fact. Okay, so Pulamahia Papakolea means Papakolea is cherished. Your right hand is going to go on top, left hand is on the bottom, palms facing toward one another. Stretch your hands away from your body, and you're going to wave and wave. I don't know why, but I always tell my students, especially my kids, that it's about chinchilla size, right? Not too big, not too small. This is not a little tennis ball. It's like a little, a little fluffier than that, okay? So you're going to roll one and two. Then both hands, palms down, cross at the wrist. You see, I use my kukui as my guide again. We're going to open the hands out to 45-degree angles. Let's try that again. Cherished or treasured is papakolea. Pula mahia. Then, Papakolea, the place name, has a literal meaning, which is the plain, not the plain, but the flatlands where the Kolea birds gather. So your right hand, sorry, your left hand, got my sides mixed up. Your left hand is going to be just overhead level. Your right hand is going to be down. And so, you're going to take the right hand and you're going to push along the plane and then you're going to switch it. The left hand is going to push along the plane. But at the same time, while you're doing that motion, you're also referencing the soaring of the kolea birds. So it's a twofer. You get plane and bird all in one. Lazy, dan lazy hula dancer's favorite. Two for one. Okay. So pula mahia, papa kolea. Let's do that. Tre treasured is Papakolea. Wave. Pula Mahia. Papakolea. Eh. Now, I wish I had that Melia blossoms on the plumeria, but imagine that your plumeria blossom lay is right here, and you're going to bring your hands into your chest, out in front, and then you're going to lift the lay over your head, Place it behind your neck and then end back here. So once again, from pressing into the chest, O Camellia. Drop the left hand by your side. Your right hand now is going to pick that flower from your blossom. I mean, from your lay. Don't actually pick it, but gesture. Pick the flower out to the 45. And then Hi'ipoi is to cherish again. So left hand goes underneath it and then carry it right back to beside your heart on the left side. Okay, let's go from the Okamelia lay, put it on. Okamelia, puahipoie. Swing the bam, diagonal to diagonal, other side, right hand, pula mahia, chinchilla. Pula mahia, the plane. Papa Kolea, eh, put on that lay. O Kamelia, Puahi 
po iye. Okay. So those are your hands for verse number two. Remember, if this feels like it's going too fast, you can find the link to the replay for week two. Um, it's in the description of the video, I believe. If not, it's in the event. You can find it a little bit later. But definitely go back. We spent an entire hour just doing this one verse. So, Pula Mahia, let's add the feet. For Pula Mahia, we're going to start nice and easy with a kaholo to the right. So here we go, right and left. Ready, go. Pula Mahia. Now, although it is a kaholo, the end of the kaholo is going to turn you in preparation for an O, some people call it a kavelu step. So your kaholo is not going to be just straight to the left with a tap. You're actually going to get a little preparatory move, kaholo to the left, turn the foot out. Okay, so you have to know that that's coming. So let's just do pulama here with that preparatory turn. Ready? And here we go. Right. Pulama here. Now, for your papa kolea, the hand that's towards the computer or the phone or the TV, wherever you're watching us, is down. The hand that's away from us is up. So your left hand is up, right hand is down. Your right hand and right foot are going to track together. Right foot crosses in front. Papa Kolea. Switch left and left. Okay, so right hand, right foot. Left hand, left foot. Let's go from Pulama. Ready, set, Kaholo, right. And Pulama here. Papa Kolea. Eh. Okay, let's repeat it one more time for the people in the back. Let's do camera three so that you can see the turns a little bit better. Pulama, set. Here we go. Right. Pulama here. Right foot, right hand step. Papa Kolea. Eh. Oh, it sounded like a rap there. Okay. P A P A K O L E A P A P. Okay, I cannot do it. Obviously, not from Papa Kolea. Okay. So. That was the beginning part of Pulama here. Let's come back to the regular camera. Thank you. So after that, Okamelia. It's all going to be kaholo, but you're going to do directional. So for the putting on of the lei, you get to go straight to the right and left. And then, Puahi'ipo. You can see your hand is moving forward. So your body will move forward once again on that kaholo. Don't forget to look at a loved one. Give them that wink, wink. And then grab the and then moving back to the spot where you were. So putting on the lay, kaholo to the right, kaholo to the left, picking the flower and presenting it to a loved one, letting them know how cherished they are in your heart is going to be forward and back. All right. For those of you that don't know who I'm making wink wink to, that's my husband, Luke, behind the camera, making us all look so fabulous. So yay. Thank you, Luke. After a long day's work, he's like, we got more work to do. Okay, ready? <laughs> Let's go from Okamelia, Kaholo to the right side. Ready? And here we go. Ah, Okamelia, pick that flower. Pua hi -i -e 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 -e. Look at me. E He's looking at the screen. Da -da -da -da. It's better up here. Pula Mahia, ready? Go. Pula Mahia, turn to the side. Papa Kolea, eh, put it on. O Kamelia, Puahi Po. Now that's creepy. Eh, but if you could see his face, you would say so too. Okay, now sometimes I, I give some little variations. If it so happens that the one that you pick and desire is not standing right over there, well, you can just take liberties. If he's over there, we're going to puahi'ipoi over there. And then maybe in the second verse, there's one over here also. No, just kidding. Okay, let's try pula mahia, second verse, before I really digress. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I can't take credit for the hula rap. That is actually um, Kumu Kahanu. He did it. P A P A K O L E A P A P A K O L E A. That's all I got. There was actually more to it, but that's that's all I got. Okay, second verse. Swing bam. Pula mahia. Cherish is Papa Kolea. Wow. 
one more time to catch up. Pula mahia. Pula mahia. Turn to the side in preparation for right hand, right foot, and left hand, left foot. Put on that lay of melia. That's it. Great job. Okay. Oh, perfect timing. 531. We're moving right on to verse number three. Now, verse three starts with the name of the next place where we're going to travel just up the uh, mountain from Roosevelt. It's one of the newest homesteads here in the Honolulu area, and it is called Kala Vahine. So, Tauku Ekolu, can we show those verse? Yep. So, Kala Vahine is the place name, the very first word, Kala Vahine. And it means the day of the woman, which is every day, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, it's also the name of this place. Um, and the people of Kalavahine are said to be very gracious and welcoming. Now, Kalavahine um, was also, uh, this verse is dedicated towards Kumu Kahanuola's grandmother, who unfortunately had pass has passed away. Um, but... She is the one, the woman, the wahine, that he is honoring in this particular verse. So you can see every single verse has a kauna to it, a deeper meaning. And it's, it is about the place near where he grew up and still lives to this day. But each one is also tied to a member of his ohana. And each one of them is represented by a, um, a Hawaiian flower or plant or tree. And in this case... It is the kukui tree. I wanted to show you some examples. Here's a kukui tree uh, right next to me. This is just up the road here at the, um, what is it, Nu'uanu Reservoir. And the kukui is the one in the center of this picture. You can see it has silvery leaves, light green, um, and it actually has a sort of shimmer to it. It stands out from the rest of the trees. And kukui is normally not only known for its leaves, it's actually known for its nuts. So I'm wearing the candle nut around my neck and also on my wrist today. Um, the kukui is, was used in ancient times as a torch. So they would take these um, nuts, maybe not these particular ones, but nuts from the kukui tree, stack them on almost like a little skewer, and then light the candle nuts and the oil within them would burn. So the word kukui has a double meaning. Of course, it is the name of the plant, but it also means a light. So a ipu kukui is like a light bulb. Um, and this idea of kukui and light, just like in English, um, has this idea of enlightenment or um, just, uh, I, I don't know what else to say besides light. It just brightens your day or brightens um, your existence with this kukui. So um, this verse, Kalavahine, talks about a grove, not just one kukui standing there, but actually a whole grove, an old grove of kukui tree that was famous in Kalavahine um, that kind of takes care and provides shade for the people of that place, Kalavahine. So that is his grandmother taking care. He said sometimes with a few stern uh, reprimands and uh, choice words, um, but always loving caring and um, leading them, uh, shining the light, shall we say, that kukui. Okay, so here's, uh, oh, I just wanted to show you this lei that I had on. If you miss the day that I wore this lei, you should just go back and watch the replay for that funny reveal because um, this lei was bambucha. It was humongous. So if you haven't seen that one, it's hilarious just to see what a ridiculously large lei I made with these kukui leaves. Here's Kalavahine. So for Kalavahine, I start with my left hand above head and right hand out to the side. You're going to go from palm spacing out, looking up at your hands, and you're going to flip it over. Then you're going to track your right hand as it joins the left overhead at the 45 degree angle up um, above head level. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Kalavahine, ready, and go. Kalavahine. Then you're going to sort of bow. Your hands are going to come down. And this is that gracious welcome. It's kind of like, yes, please, come in. 
almost like you're bowing to royalty, right? They treated everyone who came into their uh, homestead as if they were royalty. Okay, so once again, kala vahine the day, kala of the wahine, vahine bow, o kawaii pahe. Yeah, so that right hand is going to touch into the palm of the left, and you're just going to get this tour. Like, welcome, check out kala vahine. What's mine is yours, that kind of feel. Okay, one more time looking up, L shape, ready, go. Kalavahine, the little bow. O kawaii pa, he, he, he. Now, kaulu kukui is that grove of kukui tree. Your hands are going to be right in front of each other, uh, right in front of you, on top of one another. And the right hand is going to pull up to your kukui tree, but there's not just one. There's two or more even. E malu maine, or maie, rather. The right hand is going to circle around until your hands come together. And then you're going to flip the palms down. And that piece or protection, the malu, you're going to bring from over your head and down just one time. So let's go from the kukui trees. Right side tree first, right and kukui. And left side kukui. It's a big grove of kukui and they got Lots of shade. That's what it means, basically. Okay. One more time. Kaulu kukui. Ready. And right hand. Kaulu kukui. Circle round. E malu mai. That's the whole third verse. I know it went by like a flash. Remember, there's a replay. Week three. Go back and watch week three if you want to. All right. Let's try one more time. Don't forget to use your head to follow your hands. If you look up all the chins, they magically turn into one chin. Okay, so here we go. Kalavahine, ready, go. Kalavahine, little bow. O kawaii pa, he, he, he. Right tree. Kaulu, left tree. Kukui, circle round. E malu mai. Okay, let's add the feet to that. Kalavahine is the one. Oh, we have a question. Very good. Very good. What is our question? Our question for today is, is the kukui grove at eye level or slightly above? That is an excellent question. Um, the kukui tree can grow um, to be exceedingly tall, very, very tall. In fact, I had a hard time finding a kukui tree that was low enough for me to pick. Um, the, the leaves from for that lay. That being said, when we do our kukui, this is the ground, right? And we're going to go like this. Here's the first kukui. So my left hand is right across the center of my chest. Then when we do the other hand, same place. The ground stays the same. So when we do our ulu kukui, you want to keep your left hand right here. At um, My thumb is about at eye level. I don't know about my fingers, hard to tell, but, you know, it's kind of centered right at my thumb at eye level, if that helps. When you do your ulu kukui, your right hand is going to match this same level. So not too high and comes right here in front of you and then flip palms down. Again, this is maybe just above head level, right at maybe eye eyebrow when I raise my eyebrow level. And then you're going to bring your hands down here. Yeah. So not too high. Long way to say it's pretty much at eye level. Sometimes I got to do it before I know the answer. Actually, my ladies know. Okay, is it right hand in or is it left hand in? I don't know. I got to dance it about five times. And whatever comes out, three out of five, that's what it is. Because I'm definitely going to do it wrong. Okay. And do as I say, not as I do. Or do as I... Anyways, you make any kind. I can't even see you. It doesn't matter. Okay. Kalavahine, just hands ready. And here we go. Chins up. Kalavahine. O kawaii pa he right tree. Kaulu kukui e malu mai. Oh, I got that laser beam on my face. No extra charge for that. Okay, sorry. Let's add the feet for kalavahine. Hopefully that sun will pass. Kalavahine is the only um, verse that doesn't start facing forward. 
So after you do your swing vamp to the right, swing vamp to the right, and swing vamp to the left, your body is going to be facing towards a 45 degree angle, and that's okay because that's where we want to begin for Kalamba Hine. Facing towards the angle, this is like the left corner for you, the left 45 degree angle, that's where you face. Left hand is going to go straight up, right hand is going to go here, and we're going to do a kaholo au au or a side kaholo, this time starting with the right foot back. So put your weight on the left foot, step back with the right, ready, set, here we go, and kalava hine. So we only do one side kaholo and then we get a regular kaholo straight to the left. Let's try that one more time. Weight is on the left foot. Right hand is back, getting ready to step back on the right. Ready, set, here we go. Right, left, right, tap, left, right, left, tap. Right here when we do our bow, we're going to honor that second 45 degree angle. We're going to step back on the right foot and we're going to do a little kuno. I'm going to show you with the vavai cam number two what that footwork looks like. So after we do side kaholo, right here, here's your step back on the bow. Notice my right heel starts up and we're gonna step back on that same right foot. Keep the left foot out in front and then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna kaholo on this right foot. So it's a little bit tricky. Let's try that one more time. Let's go from kalavahine. This is the angle. Ready? Stepping back. Right. Here we go to the right. Kala. Regular holo. Hine. Step back. Right. Oh, kawaii pa. Oh, I lied. Kaholo left. He, he, he. See? Sometimes I do it wrong when I break it down too slow. Okay, come back. Let's add the hands and the feet together so I can make sure I'm saying the right thing. Kalavahine. Ready, set, step back. Right. Kalavahine. Step back right. That's correct. Oh, kawaii pa. Now we're going to hold a left. That's where I was wrong before. He. Okay. Now, ka ulu kukui. Ka holo to the right. Ka ulu kukui. I can't get away from this laser beam. E malu mai. Remember, this is our, our um, grove that provides shade. This is going to be two side kaholo. So kaholo to the right and kaholo to the left. Let me show you those feet one more time. Sorry, can we go to the, the second camera? So this one, you're going to get both side kaholo turning to the side. E malu mai e. This is the first time that we've actually had two in a row. Okay, so let's try that one. Kalavahine. Back to the regular cam. Yep. Ready, and here we go to the right. Kalavahine, step back right. Oh, kawaii pa, he, he, he. tree right. Kaulu kukui, e malu mai, e, and ho. Parira, baram, baram, baram. Okay, let's do that one. Um, before we try it with the music, let's try it since there's all those turns. Let's try it with this overhead camera one time so that you can get an idea of where the angles are and where I'm moving. Oh, there you are. Okay. Kalavahine, ready? And here we go to the right. Kalavahine, step back. Oh, kawaii pa, hey, tree, right. Kaulu kukui, e malu mai, e param pam. Try it one more time. Kalavahine. Here we go. And right. Kalavahine. Step back right. Oh, kawaii pa, he, tree, right. Kaulu kukui. E malu mai e. That's it. Okay. Let's try verse number three, Kalavahine with music. Riha. Oh, just kidding. Kalavahine. One more time. Kalavahine. The third homestead. 
so gracious, bow. Right tree, left tree. Okay, one more time. Don't forget to smile. Kalava hine. Right tree. Wrong tree. This laser beam is making me nuts. Okay. Right, so we have just about 15 minutes left, just under, and now we come to the final verse of the song. This is the one that we haven't learned yet. Some of you saw me dance it with Kumu Kahanu last week when he was so gracious and played the mele for us during our interview. If you didn't see that, go check it out. It was magical, just like live music performance. Um, Ha'ina, the last verse is Pauku Eha. So let's take a look at those lyrics right here. Huana um, is actually a variation on Ha'ina. So most hula dancers and Hawaiian musicians are very familiar with Ha'ina. Ha'ina comes from the word Ha'i, H-A Okina I, and Ha'i means to tell. So when you put Ha'i Na, when you put that Na, it becomes the telling. Yeah. So the the telling. Um, now we have in this verse instead of Ha'ina, we have Huana. Puana means the pronunciation. Yeah. If you think about the pua, the flower, and the pua ing or the blooming of the flower, that's what puana is. It's blooming forth. So it's just a really pretty, pretty way to end the song. Instead of just haina, which is like the regular old plain Jane way to end, we have puana, which is more like poetic, I guess you could say. So Sung with much love. This, this story is professed or put forth with so much love. So your left hand is going to be down. Uh, it's up to you. Depends on what you're wearing. If you want to hold your skirt, if you want to put it on your waist. Honestly, whatever is comfortable for you is fine. Your right hand is going to go from your mouth and out to the angle. Right at shoulder level is fine. And then mouth out to the angle. Simple. Right? So here we go. With love, you're going to flip both hands, palms down, and then they're going to come right into a very simple love motion. So right across your chest like this. And then back out again. Okay, let's try one more time for your mouth. Ready, go to the right. If you folks could see what is happening over here, my husband is rigging up some sort of thing to get rid of the laser beams because he's the best. He solved it. Yay! Okay, here we go. Puana from your we gotta get away from the laser beams. Okay. From your mouth. Puana with love. Make aloha e. Now, okamele, oh sorry, not okamele, kuulei papahi. This is a lei that will decorate me for all of my years, for the rest of my life. You're going to touch the right shoulder, um, and then you're going to touch the left shoulder. So what Kumu is saying is that these flowers, these family members, these memories will be carried with him on his shoulders um, wherever he goes. He'll never be without his mom and his grandma and his grandpa um, because of everything, all the love that they have given to him. He will continue to wear it like a lei. Isn't that mind-blowingly beautiful? <sighs> I just love mele. Okay, so kuule papahi is that lei of adornment. Put it on from your chest. Kuule papahi. Now I'm going to come a little bit closer, even though the laser beam is right there. Your right hand is going to be up, left hand is going to be down, and you're just going to wave at the shoulders one time, and then bring the hands forward, and then bring them from the other shoulder. Now your left hand is on the top, and you bring it back out, and it should go right into that vamp again. I want you to see how much I'm extending my arms, so you're not going to be 
facing to the side, but I want you to see it this way just so you can see. Touch, extend all the way out, and then touch, and then extend all the way out. Sometimes it's a little hard to see sagittal motion, like how far I'm going. I'm really extending it all the way. So you're going to go one and out and two and out, and then you're right there for your vamp. So I hope that's a little bit helpful to see that, that angle a little bit. Okay, so let's do puana, sung with much love. Ready? And right hand out. Puana ia with love. Me ke aloha e. Put on that lei. Ku ulei papahi. Evehi maulu e. Mau ia e. And then vamp, two, three, and then we get to repeat it again. Right hand. Puana ia with love. Me ke aloha e. Put on that lei. Kuulei papahi, evehi mau ia e. And then the ending, you're just going to go from corner, flip the palm, corner, and down. Goes pretty fast. Ba da da ba da 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 ba da ba da da ba That's your hands for the whole last verse. Now, by the time you get to puano or haina, it's not a good idea to do anything too crazy with the feet because your brain is already thinking about what you're going to do on your break after your pow dance. So, all kaholo, keep it simple. Kaholo to the right. Here we go. Puana. Puana ia. Me ke aloha e. Why am I getting higher and higher? Kuulei papahi. Ebehi mau ia e. And vamp, let's choose a different key, just a random one. Puana, here we go. Puana ia for the altos. Eke aloha ihe. Kuulei papahi. Ebehi mau ia e. Step back on the left. Bumparam. That's the whole song. Okay. Um, nah. Okay, here we go. Verse number four, Poku Eha, with the music before we tie it all together. I'm so excited for you folks to do the whole thing. Okay, here we go. Thanks for hanging in. Puana. Put on that lei papahi to adorn and decorate you for all of your years. Carry with them. Pula bam. Puana. Right hand to the right. Left hand. With love. Meke aloha. Pula My lei. Right side. Left side. Baba, step back left and smile. Hey, hey, you made it. You made it. So that was verse one, two, three, and four. I'm going to do a super speed review of all four verses before we do it one time through before we're pow. Be thinking as we go, which is your favorite verse? Did you love learning about Popokolea or Kalavahine or Kevalouka? Let me know of all of the verses, which was your favorite after we go through this really, really quick review. Here's verse number one. Verse number one, you're going to scoop kevalo. Can we look at the words? Uka ika olu in the calm ika olu and then open. Ehe he, left hand is going to go nose. Fragrance imbued with the scent of that pikake touch three times. One, two, three, hella right, hella left. That's verse one. Verse number two. You're going to bring your hands to the chinchilla at Papakolea. Pulama. Wave and wave. Pulama here. Papakolea is that plain where the kolea birds gather. Papakolea, a. Eh. Of course, it's also a homestead. Put on your melia le. Okamelia. Pick the flower from the heart. 
Pua hi'i poi. Eh, that was verse two. Verse number three is kalava hine. L shape. This is the only one that starts to the side. Flip the pawns. Kalava hine. Small bow. O kawaipahe. Show them all around to the trees on the right. Kaulu kukui. That grove that provides protection. Malue. Last verse, puana from the mouth out. Puana ia me ke aloha with love. Me ke aloha e put on that lay of decoration. Ku ulei pa pa hi e vehi mau ia e he he and we're going home. Da 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 dum. Just kidding. That's not how it ends. Okay, are you ready? All the way from the tippy top. Um, this hula is two times each verse. We will flash the words up on the first time of each verse so you can get it in your head. And then the second time through, you're on your own, honeys. Just kidding. I'll dance with you. Okay. Everyone was like, <gasps> no. Swing them. Ke valauka. Ke to the side. Kalava hine. Kalava hine. Step back and bow. Polo left. Ulu kukui. Tree to the right. And left. Turning to the side. The grove. Malu. Yeehaw. Okay. Kalava hine. Second chance. Kalava hine. And back. With love, make aloha. Put on that lay that you will wear forever. It's time. Puana. With so much love. If that doesn't feel like you've just taken a trip into a, a wonderful wonderland of aloha and mele and all the good things about Hawaii, I don't know what does. Um, we're so thankful for you folks being here. Thank you for all that you've done to share our classes with friends and um, just really for you being here. It really is um, the number one reason that we keep coming back because we love building this community. We love that you all say hello to each other in the comments. And um, you're really becoming our hula ohana, our, our hula family all around the world. So 
from Luke and myself and from Eames, um, our, our little helper who's here on Saturdays, our son. Uh, we just want to say mahalo. Thanks for being with us through this month of March, celebrating Prince Jonah Kuhio Kalaniano Ole. Um, and we'll be back next month with more. That's just in a couple of days. So hopefully we'll see some of you folks Saturday, if not Tuesday. And um, until then, ahui ho.